Hello, everybody. Hello, this is Behind the Bar. I'm your host, Main the Milkman, a.k.a. BDB. How everybody doing today? All right. Now, let's talk about it, man. Ray J, Ray J, Ray J, Ray J. I saw Ray J on a show, a YouTube channel called The Art of Dialogue. Shout out to The Art of Dialogue. And he was speaking upon Faith Evans and Tupac and a legend that he's seen Faith Evans sitting on the lap of Tupac. If Faith Evans slept with Tupac... I wouldn't be surprised, but I'm not even here for that. I'm here for him lying. I'm here for him lying. Um, there's no way in hell that Ray J and Tupac had the type of relationship that he claims that he had on Art of Dialogue. Reason being because the numbers don't add up. Hashtag we see you. I want somebody to leave a, a comment before the end of this show or right now. Leave a comment and say hashtag Ray J we see you. Ray J, the dates don't add up. Ray J, if I had one wish... It, my wish for me for you to stop lying. How about that? Ray J, if I had one wish, if you would stop lying and clout chasing, man. Y'all got to do better. Y'all celebrities have to do better. Y'all can't come on here and constantly continue to clout chase and think that it's okay. Because we got the people. The internet is undefeated, ladies and gentlemen. I repeat, the internet is undefeated. What I mean by that is this. I'm watching the order dialogue, and the gentleman that's interviewing him asked him a question about Tupac. And I don't know... What got into Ray J to say something like this? But we're going to break this down and debunk his lies. We're going to break this down and debunk his lies right here live on Behind the Bar. Thank you all for watching the show. Let's get this thing on the pop. And you heard? All right, let's get it in. All right, let's go. And I always heard the rumor that she was around Death Row, but I never knew if it was true or not until now. But I got to ask you, right? It's no way I can do this interview and not ask you. You did an interview back in 2008, right? Where you made a comment saying that you seen your faith on Tupac Club. See, that's what I'm saying. I ain't want to go viral again because I done said, I done said when I was younger, bro, that I don't even feel like I should have said because it was probably nobody business. You know what I'm saying? And so that's why, that's what took me back to that. Of me saying I ain't trying to go viral. That's why I said Pac came to my birthday party when I was young, like 18, and that's a, that's a positive story. No. Wait a minute. Hold on. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Hold on. Wait a minute. Y'all thought that was finished? I want y'all to hear that part one more time. I need y'all to hear this part one more time, y'all. One more time. Listen to what he said. Listen to what he said. So that's why that's what took me back to that. And me saying I ain't trying to go viral. That's why I said Pac came to my birthday party when I was young, like 18. And that's a, that's a positive story. You know? Ray J said that Tupac came to his 18th birthday party. Now, I'm not the sharpest tool in the shed. I'm not the best at math. I'm not a mathematician. But I did the math on it. I said, wait a minute. Ray J. Let me go over here. Let me show you. I'm going to show you all proof. According to Google. Ray J is only 43 years old, born in 1981. All right. <laughs> now let me Google um, Tupac death date. Tupac dies on September 13th, 1996. Which means what? Which means what? Somebody say, yo, behind the boat, where you going with this? Which means what? That means at the time that Ray J was around and Tupac passed away, Ray J was only 15 years old, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> <laughs> yo, Ray J. <laughs> what the hell? Did you mean that he came to your bar mitzvah when you was 13? What are you talking about? How are you going to come on national YouTube and say that Tupac was at your 18th birthday party? I can't make this shit up, y'all. Listen to this shit. Tell me I'm bugging. That's what took me back to that. Of me saying I ain't trying to go viral. That's why I said Pac came to my birthday party when I was young, like 18. And that's a, that's a positive story. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's a, that's a non-viral moment. Um, hey, did I leave that blunt upstairs? 
Oh, I need to have one. There, child. You My must life. be high as a mother. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 no. What? <laughs> Somebody put in the live chat. Somebody put in the comment section. Somebody say, "Stop the cap! <laughs> Stop the cap!" My bad. Can you get it for me? I can't stand these lying ass yeah. niggas. But I mean, at this point, right? It's so many people that spoke on it. But I mean, for you to actually see it is crazy, man. So you seen Faith from Tupac Love? Nah, man. Because Faith was like, we like, I'm trying to be cool with Faith, and Faith is cool. Shout out to Faith. You know what I'm saying I was young when I said that. You know what I'm saying, and so it's, you just can't be like, you know what I'm saying. I can't I can't go back to that because it, it wasn't okay to say. Ray J is a messy little thought. I think he did a little bit too much love and hip hop. He has a reality show in his head. He needs a reality check. Ray J is very, very messy. So I you say you're messy. Messy behind the bar, you're messy in the mind. We didn't forget, Ray J, that you were in the hotel, the same hotel that Whitney Hughes was caught up and allegedly you was the supplier. Allegedly. Huh? You was the man who got the stuff. Allegedly. For Whitney Houston, allegedly. So, are you saying you're messy? Must have behind the bar, you're messy in the mind. God damn. Because it was really nobody's business, you know what I'm saying? So, I I, I don't want to do that to Faith. Even if she ain't fucking with me now because I said that, um, I won't I won't blo I won't let history repeat itself. So. Nah, homie. Nah. Right, right. So she ain't rocking with you right now? You think it's over there? I don't know. I don't. I, I. She's always been respectful to my people and family and friends. So even if it is, you know. Um, I apologize, Faith, for that. Wow. Did I see Faith on Tupac Lab? I told you I can't do that because I, I ain't trying to like... You might as well say it, nigga. I can't do that. You st you already said it. It's already documented. You said it back in 2008. Now you're like, hashtag we see you. What's wrong with these people? I I, I know Faith already mad at me for saying that shit. And so I don't, I, I don't want to go back there. I want to be oh, God. a different person today. It's pathetic. So, so a different person today would just say, man, I sh it, was, it was cloudy back then. Oh, I was young. Man. I don't know. Probably, it just probably looked like her. You know what I'm saying? Looked like her. Oh, God. That's the word. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, to come to the that was an epic fail, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Ray J, hold this L. We off the joint. BDB, over and out. We off this joint, y'all. Peace.